This is Trevor from Obituary, and you're watching Metal Blast. Yeah, uh, we're actually, before this tour, we started recording an EP. We were hoping to be finished recording before, the, before this tour, but uh, a bunch of different personal things happened and we just didn't have time to finish it. But we started, uh, I got all guitar uh, scratch tracks done and Donald started doing uh, scratch drum tracks. But when we get home from this, it's one, one or two weeks we'll be finished recording. Oh, okay. And then uh, after that, that's like three new songs. It's an EP we're going to do. I'm actually going to do a 7-inch, which is going to be cool. A little 7-inch picture disc. And then, um, and, uh, no, no CDs at all, just picture desk only. But then you can download it from like iTunes or Google Music and stuff. But then uh, we got uh, another 10 songs we're gonna record after that. So so hopefully, hopefully by the end of the year, January may be a brand new full length album. Oh, it's pure obituary, oh yeah, totally. It's the most, in fact, we got some of the catchiest hooks on this album. These, these songs are so amazing. In fact, like one of the first songs for it, I, it's always humming in my head. It's like I can't. It pisses me off because it's stuck there all the time. So it's a good thing. It's like really catchy, groovy obituary. Uh, that's great. I mean, uh, me, I've been friends with Terry Butler for like probably 27 years. So we've been, it was natural for him to come in our band. I mean, we, like I said, actually when I was a child, when I was 10, 10-ish, I moved down to, from Jacksonville to Tampa with my family. And my, one of my first friends I ever met was his sister, Amy Butler, who's actually married to Greg Gall, the drummer from Six Feet Under. So we've been friends for years and years. So it was a natural transition. He's a great bass player, cool guy. He's solid, and uh, like I said, he's a, like family, so it was natural. We haven't recorded with him yet, but we're getting ready to, you know, so he's excited to record with us, so it's going to be great. No, we started recording. He hasn't done any bass yet. I did, like, guitars and drums and started. we we, we got to go back and finish it, so yeah. He'll be, uh, in fact, I was teaching him some of the songs on this tour, you know, so. No, uh, well, no, not at all, really. It was... It was personal stuff, actually, which I don't really want to talk about, to be honest. It's I don't, don't, don't even, it. yeah, don't really get to it. It's pretty shitty. But, no, nah, it had nothing to do with Gordon Roth at all. At all. I mean, I don't know, you can play in ten bands, I don't care. <laughs> so, it's okay. You know, Donald John had their little Tardy Brothers thing. That's for fun, they do, you know. Because we have our own studio now, and to uh, record is easy for us. So they, f they play around in the studio when we're, not, when we're not together. And I've actually got a couple things. I'm hoping to do a new catastrophic record. But yeah, the main focus is obituary. I mean, we, you know. In fact, I haven't been able to, I've been trying to do new catastrophic songs for like a year and a half. I have no time though, because I'm so busy with obituary, so. Right, yeah, the drummer and I have been talking about it, and Keith, the singer, so, yeah, we're definitely going to do something new, eventually. Well, once I have some, a couple months to sit down and just get some new music together, you know. We took a year off last year. We did a few dates, but we did mostly to write. So the, during all 2011, a lot of the year, like we did a tour in March in, in Europe last year. After that, there were like no summer festivals, no, we did like a short American East Coast run, that was it. But during a whole year, we've just been writing new guitar riffs and drum beats. And now we're trying to put it all together to make it a final album, you know. We, we did that mainly because we had been together since we were teenagers. And then all of a sudden it turned into a professional thing and we were touring and we for like 12 years after, you know, we didn't live like normal people. We were like, we were like animals, kind of, or monkeys in a cage. So we, you know, we, we basically split up to people got married and had babies and children and got normal jobs. And then about six or seven years later, we were like, fuck this, this sucks. <laughs> We got back together, and now, I mean, you know, we're all on the same page. We all look at it like, well, we're lucky. 
we're blessed to be able to do this professionally and people like us so we're like we got to do this you know so we don't we try not to tour like we we try not to go for six months straight we like this is the longest run we've done in a long time we're doing five weeks on this run that's about as long as we'll go at one time hey i was talking with my kids and my wife on skype you know and uh, i miss them dearly it's been we've got another nine days before we're home so it's it's hard a month is a long time to be away from the family especially you know just all just kids and stuff but um so we try to keep it at four weeks maximum and then take a month and then the next like we're going to go back out in september in america for a month or three and a half weeks but we try to put time in between it so at least we can come home be with our family get back in touch and then practice and stuff so we know we I mean, at first we didn't know. Uh, you know. We just did our thing and people liked us and we were like, whatever. And I guess we know at this point that we are definitely one of the top death metal bands for old school death metal. And it's good. And we know, I think musically we know we stand out differently be, for, as far as death metal goes. Because, you know, a lot of the death metal is really fast nowadays and blazing speeds. And we are, we're more like Black Sabbath as far as tempos go, you know. So we definitely stand out differently, I think between the different bands, you know? I don't know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's hard to say, because every band in the world, no matter what, from day one, from caveman times, you borrow pieces and parts, or, or you are influenced by other artists, and uh, I mean, obviously we are influenced by other artists, and you can hear this probably in our music, definitely. But I mean, you know, as a there's a certain chemistry I think between uh, the, the writers of the band, like the Tardy Brothers and myself, have a good chemistry together, and uh, we make this good groove thing going on that a lot of people don't have. I think that's a good thing that we have is the groove for death metal, you know. And, I tell you, like, Hail of Bullets is amazing, but in a way they sound, they're like an old band musically to me. I mean, you know, the main dude is the guy from Pestilence. I loved Pestilence when we were younger, you know, but uh, they're a killer, you know. It's good, refreshing to hear a band sound like that. Actually, my collection of what I listen to is all old Slayer, Hellhammer, Celtic Cross, Possessed. Everything I listen to metal-wise pretty much is old. I mean, older than obituary stuff, you know, so I'm an old dog. <laughs> That's what I do. It's hard to, like, I have this whole niche of things I like, and that's what I listen to still. Music for metal, you know. Uh, we're in between labels. Uh, we're, we're hoping to do our own record label. Uh, we have a person we're friends with who is interested in investing. I don't think it's going to happen soon enough for us to be able to do this. So we're actually talking with Century Media. They're very interested. I, I'm, you know, without saying it's happened, it's done because we haven't signed a contract. But they've offered us a deal, and they're really interested in the obituary. In fact, uh, we were just we were just at the office last week watching uh, Ireland and Italy play and having a barbecue on top of their building. So. It's just business, is all it is. I mean, we're all mature and older now, so it's not too hard to deal with. The fact we're all involved with it on our own, in our own way, we we all have a little, a little part in the uh, business part. Like John and I take care of a lot of it, and uh, Donald does some things, and and Terry does too. We all try to do our own little part to make it easier on, because for one person to do it, it's a lot of work, so it's, it's not too bad. It usually comes out with, like I'll have my guitar and just be playing around, not even trying to make up something, and all of a sudden I'll write a rhythm, and it'll be like, holy shit, that sounds killer. And next thing you know, there's like two or three rhythms building around it, and I'll record it, and just maybe forget about it for, hell, maybe six months, or maybe one week, or maybe till the next day, and then I go back to it, I show, show Donald to check this out, and he'll be like, oh shit, and then we start jamming together with the drums and guitar together and sometimes I have an idea for the drum pattern and he'll go that's a good idea and we start playing it together and next thing you know we start building it and then we'll sit down and try to map out an actual song you know the pattern and then uh, finish it up and then we give it a, we'll record it 
like all the parts that we like as a song, what we think is a song, and we give it to John. Here's a recording, John. Make up some lyrics, and then um, John will be like, cool, and he'll do his thing. And then, then we get back together usually, and John will, maybe John's a, hey, can you play this part two more times, or maybe cut this out two times, or you know, we'll edit it maybe a little bit to fit his lyrics. And then from there we record it and listen to it. If it sounds good, then we're done, you know. because we have the recording system at the house. So I'll have literally, I'll sit in there and record so many rhythms for hours. And I may never go back to them. So yeah, there's definitely, nowadays more than ever. The older days, it was pretty much, most of it was used because we didn't have, a, we'd, we'd record things. I mean, we wouldn't record it. We'd play it, make a song, and I'd remember it, memorize the song in my head, or maybe get a ghetto blaster and record it real quick, and we'd use everything. But now, yeah, definitely nowadays, since, since uh, Executioner's Return, that's when we bought our system, our Pro Tools system. Ever since then, we definitely have more material than we use because it's great. Just hit record. Like in our studio, we all of our drums, our guitars, everything is uh, mic'd up all the time. Always. So I'll be in there practicing with Donald, just rehearsing for a, a show. And sometimes I make, make up something by accident when we hit record real quick and save it for later, you know? That happens a lot. It's good. Thank you for being our fans. I mean, it's amazing that we're still here and it's metal. <laughs>